everyone, a very warm welcome to my channel, Petite and Curvy. I'm Kopal. I am a 4 foot 11 inches tall Petite style blogger from London. In previous videos, I've shared with you the best short as well as maxi dresses which suit the petite and curvy body frames. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the dresses that you should not wear as a petite and curvy woman. Now these are just my recommendations. Whenever I choose outfits for myself, the quality of the fabric, the way it fits the body, the way it feels on the body, these are very important things for me. So there are certain types of dresses that just don't flatter a petite and curvy body and there's so many of them, <laughs> but I'm going to show you a few. In my petite styling video, I had shared with you that a wrap style dress really flatters a petite and curvy body. The dresses that I'm going to show you now are also in the wrap style, but just the way they are cut um, makes them completely unflattering on this body frame. So shall we begin? So the first dress that I'm going to show you is this aubergine dress from ASOS. When I saw it online, I, I was so excited for this one because look at the A-structured shoulder. On the website, it just looks so amazing. <laughs> also, it is, um, also, it has a flared skirt. And I always, I always say that uh, if you are an hourglass shape, which I am, then a flared skirt and A-structured shoulders, you know, th that gives a very nice definition to the body. It suits an hourglass figure quite a lot. So, which is why I had bought it for myself. <laughs> um, but as you can see, it just doesn't flatter the body at all. The reason for this is the material that it is made of. So this is a scuba style material. It is quite thick. It just gathers at the waist. So you can see how it just bulks up my stomach. And this is something that I really, you know, wouldn't want. So whenever we buy dresses, we want these dresses to look great on our body and to hug the curves at the right places and make us look fabulous. But this dress <laughs> does the opposite. Um, although I think it's a great concept, but for a curvy body like mine, so if you have a body like mine, then this one would not, would not suit you as much. This is, uh, you know, this material, this scuba style material, you, you would need to try these and see if they suit you. I've had another dress in the same material and that did not suit me as well. So it is quite a rigid fabric. It just doesn't hug, it doesn't hug your body at all. So if you're curvy, go for fabrics that are lighter, softer, and you know, the ones that are not rigid so that they follow the natural curves of your body. They sit easily. On, on the skin and you know they don't just create a silhouette of their own because certain thicker fabrics can add a lot of bulk to the petite and curvy body which is something that we don't want. The next style of dress which I tried and I did not like at all <laughs> is this shirt style dress. I love shirt style dresses. The problem with this one is that it doesn't have um, defined shoulders and also there's a lot of extra fabric here so it adds a lot of bulk to the upper body and if you look at the sleeves of that dress uh, whenever you go for puff sleeves and you have thicker arms like mine try to avoid sleeves that um, reach your elbows go for sleeves that are you know that are full or that are slightly shorter so if you go for dresses that have elbow length balloon sleeves, then that's going to add a lot of bulk to your arms. <laughs> this is something I've tried and uh, I do have a lot, I, I do have thicker arms. So I'm quite mindful in terms of um, the sleeves of the clothes that I wear. <laughs> so if you have thicker arms and you want to wear balloon sleeves, then go for balloon sleeves that are full length or that are shorter. Do not go for sleeves that are until the elbows because then it's just going to make your arms look really big. So the next style of dress that I'm going to show you is this wrap style maxi dress. <laughs> In my uh, best maxi dresses for petites video, I shared 
the maxi styles that really suit the petite and curvy body. This is also a, a wrap style maxi dress. However, this is not from the petite section. So <laughs> it's my fault. I bought it. I really love the color. It's a, a nice bright pink and I love pink. <laughs> so I really like the color of this dress and I thought that perhaps, you know, I, it might just suit me. But apparently it just doesn't. So the problem with this dress is that it's not from the petite section. It's a regular, it's for a regular sized woman. And, you know, as with any regular sized clothes, you can see that the waistline here sits really low. <laughs> and it is quite a large dress in the way it's made. Although it's my size, uh, it's a size 12, but it, it looks really big. The next style uh, of dress that I'd like to show you is this tool dress. This is from H&M and uh, this was for £19. I love tool dresses. I love the tool fabric. Uh, over here, you know, it's again, tool is one fabric that could suit the petite and curvy body frame. The problem with this one here is that it just feels a bit too big. The reason is that it's again not from the petite section. H&M, please, please, please <laughs> focus more on your petite section. Do bring in all these lovely styles to your petite department as well. So this is a lovely dress. I think this is a midi dress uh, for a regular size woman, but I tried to create a maxi style with it. So. You know, the best way to add structure to any dress is by adding a nice belt. And that's what I did with this one. So I wore my studded <laughs> black belt with it and it just looked amazing. So I really liked this one and I kept it. Um, the other one I had to return because it just didn't fit me properly. So the next style of dress that I'm going to show you is again an asymmetrical maxi dress and I've shown it in my maxi dresses video, you know, how much maxi dresses suit the petite and curvy body frame. However, you need to pay attention to the cut of the dress as well. Now, this is a lovely purple dress. Well, it looked very lovely on the website. This is from ASOS. But again, when I tried it on at home, you can see the problems with it. Firstly, <laughs> the frills on this dress, they just sit at all the wrong places. So the one at the back, it just adds again. <laughs> um, a kind, it, it just draws attention to my bum, which is something <laughs> that I just don't want my outfits to do. High low maxi dresses really suit a petite and curvy body frame but when you're buying uh, asymmetrical dresses always remember that there's no added fabric on the hip area and at the back that just tends to add a lot of volume to the body <laughs> it just doesn't create a flattering silhouette and this is something i would highly recommend for you to avoid the next style of dress i'm going to show you is this pink colored balloon dress so this dress creates a, a horizontal line at the widest part of my hips and this is something I hadn't noticed when I bought it. I went to Seville and I wore this dress without realizing how it just made me look really wide from, <laughs> from my hip area, which is okay. I, I don't mind that. <laughs> I love my curves. I love my body as it is right now. but. I want the clothes that I wear to fit me properly but if I were to wear this dress again I would feel very conscious of the way my hips looked and this is something that can sometimes affect our confidence uh, you know when the clothes don't sit right on your body you know you're always conscious of how you're looking so whenever you choose any kind of outfit for yourself always always make sure that whatever you wear, whatever you choose to wear, should make you feel very confident and should make you look as fabulous as possible. So that's the end of this video. <laughs> I hope you got some pointers on what to avoid when it comes to dresses. 
focus on the material of the dresses. The material should be flowy and um, um, I don't want to say thin, but should be good quality, but it should not be rigid. <laughs> the cut of the dress should be good. Uh, it should flatter your body and should make you feel confident. That's my second tip. And the third is try and avoid buying maxi dresses from the normal section. Most of the times they just don't fit well. Everybody is different and you need to try out as many dresses as possible to find out which ones suit your body the best. <laughs> what did you think of these dresses? Do let me know in the comments below. If you do like this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so that I can create some more awesome content for you.